It's been a little bit since uh, I made a video. But uh, spring's coming around. Might get back on, well, I know I'll be getting back on the bike. Might be turning on the camera again for another year. Have to make a few more videos this year. See what happens. Just uh, cruising today. But this wasn't a very good winter for uh, getting out and motorbiking. It was either snowing or had snowed a lot and the roads were covered in snow when it was nice out or when it was nice out the roads were just pure ice so there wasn't a whole lot of opportunity to get out and go riding throughout the winter this year got out in january a couple times i think but that was about it But I think spring's starting to poke its head around. Most of the snow is melted now. Last week we had like all plus 10 degree highs for the days, so. Might be back to biking season soon. Over the winter, since I wasn't biking, I had the brilliant idea, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go take my GoPro off my helmet and uh, put on my skiing helmet and make like a video of skiing. But that never saw the light of day. Never really got there. So basically all I accomplished by coming up with that idea was uh, basically not destroying this GoPro setup on my biking helmet, but like took it all apart. And when I did a little test recording before, I was running into mic issues, it was cutting out and stuff, so... It might take a few videos to try to get that figured out again. I don't know, these uh, mic setups for these GoPros get really finicky really quick. Especially when they're on a helmet, your head's always moving around. It doesn't take much for like the little cord to get caught or whatever else. Like, I don't know if you guys can see how this is set up, but there's like a cord running into the side of the GoPro. And like, that's really easy to get caught up or snagged, and then it like there's a connection, and yeah, there's a whole bunch of little things that could go wrong and cause issues. I had it set up so I could like almost 99% of the time reliably record on the GoPro actually working recording audio how I wanted it to. But then I tore it all apart. Yeah, for this year I don't imagine I'm going to be uploading every week. I really can't guarantee any kind of schedule. It'll probably just be kind of dependent on how things go on my end. It'll be like the odd geocache maybe if I ever go on an interesting ride. But I'm kind of finding that if I try to go, I'll be like, oh, I need to make a video every week. It's like I'm forcing bad or not really that great of stuff to watch. So I figured I'd go for, try to go for a little bit more quality or a little bit higher quality, more interesting videos versus just a bunch of videos. I don't know. I'm not really doing this to become a big YouTuber. I'm just doing it as a hobby. So that's the goal. Try to find more geocaches mainly. I know I said that last year too. But uh, for Christmas I got this new GPS. So we're gonna one day shortly here find out how that's gonna work. Mount on the bike for trying to find geocaches, which makes it, which should make it a lot easier to find a lot of these geocaches I've wanted to find, but they're out of like uh, phone service, so I couldn't find them with my phone. Whereas with this guy, you don't need cell service. He uses an actual GPS to get his signal and such. Oh, watch more! Holy cow! All right, well, I think I might try some of the first little bit of off-roading in 2019. Well, off-mark road.
It's a little soupy out here. This could have been a bit of a mistake. <laughs> you get into a rut and you just like can't get out of it. <laughs> no matter where you go. It's just so slippy slidey. I think I'll be better off sticking to the like, at least somewhat packed, gravelly rooted stuff. Oh, ooh, it's muddy down there. Any second you want to get out of that route would be great. Okay, I'll just stall. I don't have aggressive enough tires. Or my tires are worn down too much for this. Go straight. <laughs> I need to clear this mud out of my tire. Ugh. I thought this was a good idea. At least it looks a little bit drier up here. I don't know, is it dry up here? <laughs> I hate when oh, shit's all rutted up. I gotta work on actually standing up in this stuff. You have way more control over the bike standing up. But I spent way more time riding the bike sitting down, so I think I'm more confident sitting. I just got to practice riding this thing actually on somewhat, or at least to me, tricky terrain while standing. See, I instinctively go to sit down. I shouldn't. Like chicken out. Got some mud on my boots. Oh. 
Even this road could be a little soft. Throw some of the mud off. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll uh, hope to catch you in the next one. Peace.